Hi, everyone. Thursday, December 8th. Welcome to Three Things with Spyglass Lending, where we give you the real. We delve a little deeper into the mortgage and real estate industries, not the usual fluff, the rigmarole, the, the headline grabbing that you often see out there. We want to go behind the scenes and tell you what's actually going on there. Stick with us a couple of minutes, and we're going to tell you exactly what that is. Let's start with number one. Home Purchase Sentiment Index. Yes, there is such a thing. The HPSI and Fannie Mae puts it out. Who is Fannie Mae? Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the secondary market. They pretty much buy all the paper, all the mortgages that the banks put out in this country. Trillions of dollars every year. So you can imagine they want to know. They want their finger on the pulse as to how consumers feel about buying a home out there. Well, as you can see, after eight straight months of decline, there's been a slight uptick. All of a sudden, November, the optimism is coming back. Well, not a tremendous amount, but something, slightly, an uptick of, what is it here? I think 0.6. Uh, but it's still pretty close to an all-time low, and that's 57.3, as we can all expect. And if you look year over year um, from last year at this time, we're 17 and a half points off uh, that number, that rosy outlook that buyers are always looking for. Um, from what it was previously. So again, there's you know less than 60% of people out there have this good outlook about buying something. But again, after eight months of decline, we are on an uptick. And this jumps out at me, not specifically because of primary uh, homeowners, but here at Spyglass Lending, we've done uh, a long time, been funding real estate investors for quite some time. So I'm wondering how flippers are feeling, right? I'm wondering how developers, those who are doing ground up construction are feeling about uh, what's going on out there. And it's interesting because let's go to number two. You see a headline like this and you would otherwise think, well, flippers aren't feeling too good. They're they're downtrodden now. This is a problem. Again, these are the clickbait headlines. And this is coming from Bloomberg here. And obviously you could see this was two months ago that the article was written. Home, home flippers get burned by U.S. housing market sudden slump. Well, look at the subtext on this. Uh, falling demand and rising interest rates means some investors. OK, and what that is really saying is those who are, you know, playing that escalating market. They were doing, as they call it, paint and carpet work on some of the inventory that they purchased and put it back on the market. Yeah, they are getting burned. They didn't put quality work out there. They were playing the ascending market. They bought at the wrong time uh, and they got caught behind enemy lines. So yeah, they're getting burned. But again, that's not all house flippers. And in fact, a lot of house flippers are still doing quite well. If you're putting out great product, if you took the time to value add, you put the second story on there, you put extra footage, you're, you've changed the input of a property, uh, you built the ADU, whatever it is, you, you know, and, and you beautified a property the right way, you're still seeing a pretty sizable windfall. No question about it. You're still seeing a lot of cash buyers come out and pay over asking. You're still seeing bidding wars in some, uh, in some cases. And this really brings us to number three, because this melds what's going on with homeowners and melds what's going on with investors and everybody should be paying attention to this. This is the Case Shiller Index uh, from now in December, although the the uh, information you're looking at is from October. That's the latest information we have. And I'm going to break this down. You're looking at a chart. Well, what does exactly does this mean? You're seeing a little negative and positive here. Okay. So MO slash MO, that's month over month. So what that means is from September of 2022 to October of 2022, the list information we have, you did see a slight decrease in the value of homes. And that's big. That's something to certainly pay attention to. But it's really a lot smaller than you might otherwise expect, 0.1% uh, across the nation if you average it out. And then year over year. So again, that's October of this year compared to October of 2021. It's still up over 10% for what it was last year. That's how much equity had accrued um, over this year as well. And that, that's big. And that's something really to consider. And then what they're forecasting here now, month over month, is between October of this year into November. And we'll see if they were right, but zero, really. It's just flatlined. Of course, not negative, not positive, but nobody was expecting anything to go up. And that, you know, makes sense as to where the market we're in right now. Not quite the buyer's market everybody's really talking about, but certainly no longer a seller's market. But the big thing, the number one thing to pay attention to your ears is what they're forecasting year over year for next year. Because what they're saying is this is November of 2022, just this past month, to November of 2023. And they're now expecting, still expecting a 4.1% average uptick across this country on value. Okay. So yeah, if you're a homeowner, that's something to consider if you're trying to buy a property and worried about all this, everything falling off a cliff. And certainly if you're an investor, certainly if you're a flipper, because it's no longer that screaming upward uh, number that everybody had seen over the past couple of years or dating back even to the last decade. But the expectation is it's not going to fall off a cliff. On the average, there are definitely going to be places and pockets where prices have come down, California probably being the number one target area where everyone's expecting values to come down. But again, that speaks to picking up a deal. 
right? If you're not the one caught behind enemy lines, you don't, you're not holding onto this inventory that you just paint and carpeted uh, to use a verb on it. Then think about what you can ultimately pick up. There's opportunity to pick up really good value properties because on the average, it's going to be down. But on the back end of it, if you beautify it correctly, if you're adding that ADU, you're adding the footage, you're doing the right work on it, you are going to see certainly the increase you need to, even though it's no longer that high price you would otherwise expect. If you're buying better and you're selling at a more reasonable price and you've done a good job, there's still plenty of optimism out there. In fact, I think the next couple of years, especially for uh, for flippers, especially for investors alike, there's a lot to like about what all of this information is telling us. This has been Three Things with Spyglass Lending. As always, I appreciate you joining me. We'll do it all again next Thursday.